What is going on, inner nerds? Steven here. We got a trailer reaction to the Batman film. I am so excited. I need to apologize on behalf of myself and to all my, my fellow inner nerds here on the show, on the channel, I should say. I have been so inconsistent with my own schedule. I have some things going on outside of here, but everything's coming to an end in some sense and, and being figured out in another sense. So we are back, we are attacking it. We are so excited and right on time, DC gave us so much content. So this week we got so much coming out. We're gonna react to, to all the trailers they released, both video games and shows. I'm kicking it off here with the Batman. I am so excited for this movie. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this movie. I love Robert Pattinson. I love this cast. I can't, Paul Dano is a, is a beast. Uh, Colin Farrell is in this film. I mean, there's so many, uh, Andy Serkis as, as Alfred, like that's so random. Um, I love everything about what Matt Reeves is envisioning with this from what I've seen. Um, since they announced him, I felt like uh, Rob Pattinson has, has been put in the same boat as Heath Ledger as the Joker, where we weren't sure how it was going to turn out. And then, of course, we all know how it turned out. I feel that way about Rob Pattinson. Um, he's just been on a tear lately with films, just amazing performances. Uh, most recently, the one I saw was, not including Tenet, even though he was great in Tenet, which was uh, The Lighthouse. No more talk. Let's get into this. The first trailer for The Batman. I cannot wait. Let's go. Score off the bat. Police! Hands up! There's Paul. Stay still. Oh, I got Killer Fields, Zodiac Killer. Oh, yeah. There's nothing like a Batman film. Fear is a tool. Ooh, there's the voice. When that light hits the sky, a little digitally altered. That's like the. Oh, I love. It. Oh, I just got chills. It's a warning. Oh, look how mad intense he is, though. I've been trying to reach you. Find the door. To match. Oh, that hairstyle is interesting. I can oh. take care of myself. Oh, there's our cat woman. If this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing left. That was comfort. I don't care what happens to me. We got the makeup, that's cool. The lighting in this. Oh, take it easy, sweetheart. You hear everything they say, ain't you? Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? I'm And a date. Um, I, I'm in shock. <laughs> that was the most visceral experience I've seen for a for a Batman film. All right, let's talk to some of the things that uh, come right off my bat. Bat. Uh, sorry, that I, <laughs> I'm just the the color tones are so opposite of Nolan, which I think is 100% on purpose. The, the the yellow, the red, the sometimes blue, which I think we're gonna see after effects. I, we're, we're getting a dark, almost hell-like representation. We are in the dog days of Gotham in this. We see a raw, a raw Bruce Wayne. I love that his hair is a little like weird, like 
again, again like Jim Carrey vibes from the early 90s. And I think that's on purpose because I definitely think we're gonna see his progression as both Batman and Bruce Wayne, which I'm really excited about. We're not gonna get this eight year jump, hopefully, like we got, which was necessary in the Nolan trilogy, you know? But we're gonna, I think we're gonna see a lot more of Bruce in this, which I always wanted. I like, I like learning about Bruce too. Um, I, Colin Farrell, are you kidding me? I'm reading Oscar all over that already. That was, I, I, you, I know the makeup, but the voice and the performance, the, the, that's a career performer right there. Um, I love that they're keeping the Riddler out of it. You know, show us everything else. It definitely looks like this is gonna be a lot of origin. And I'm hoping this is potentially our Tony Stark of DC, but I kind of hope they do it in a Sony way where we get his, I don't want, I don't want to see him with like Black Adam. I don't. This, this looks like a detective film. This looks like in the same way you can enjoy Dark Knight as like a heist film. I hope this is a dark, deep detective, like true detective type of film, which is the vibe I'm getting. And it just so happens that our detective, because that, that's who he is. He's the world's greatest detective. And I, I want to see that. And I love that they're starting with the Riddler, this saga, this, this character, this version of Batman with the Riddler, because it really is going to force him to use those those skills that I don't think we've really ever seen. You know, we, we get a sense of that in the Dark Knight, but that, that was more of a psycholo, you know, psycho, I can't, sorry, psychological film. This, not that this is not a thriller, but I definitely want that. He needs to put the puzzles together. You kind of saw that on that floor thing where he, he has different things written on there. Um, his costume, his costume, his, you know, the, 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 the uniform looks at me. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm blown away by what I just saw. Um, I, I waited that long to see it and I, it was worth the wait. The score is so good. I think that was Nirvana again in there, but that, that, dun, dun, like that, that, that tone, it, it's creepy. It, and I love how the bad guys look in there. His voice sounds great. This is, this is almost. I feel like Nolan's Batman's were Nolan's interpretation, and not that this isn't Reeves, but I feel like it's Reeves through the lens of a comic, of the of the of the Dark Knight comic, which I think is really cool, and not in a Snyder way, which I don't really like, um, but in his just using the comics to tell the story, almost like and it's an unfair comparison to the. Oh, I'm getting long here. I gotta cut this up. I'm sorry. To the spy. I'm just. This was so good, but to the Spider Verse where they they did the animation. I feel like uh, similar. If that makes sense, does that make sense? This is gonna be one of the best films I think of 2022, at least for me. We got a March release date, early March. I cannot wait for this film. 2022 is gonna be hype, guys. It's gonna be crazy. Anyway, I got the Flash trailer to get out. Mike has a bunch coming out as well, guys. Comment below what you're most excited about this film. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Please subscribe. Peace out again.